Hello everyone, good morning. My name is Sui Polivera and welcome to another video. Today uh, I am at Aquafort in Netherlands and uh, I have a few tanks to take care. This is one of them. This is 150 by 60 by 90 centimeters high. Uh, we have here Altums and major uh, low demanding aquatic plants. And uh, this tank is not care or maintained for about three months, so the plants are completely overgrowth. Uh, I need to do a major maintenance, uh, clean uh, the glass, uh, clean the filter, just trim most of these plants because of the, all the shadow that is uh, provoked by the, um, I would say, for the bovitis and also quite the nefarious. Some of those cryptocorins are completely big, they are completely overgrowth. Uh, I just need to give a big, big trimming on all this because um, it's just to avoid that um, they grow a little bit tall. I want them, keep them really, really short. But for that, I need to take off those bulbides because they are giving a lot of shadow. And with that shadow, it's um, allow them, the cryptocurrents to grow as they want because they are looking for the light and then to grow a little bit tall than I was expecting. So uh, I will explain you um, how I usually do this kind of maintenance and uh, you guys can see all these maintenance uh, in the behind the scenes. So it's quite nice to show you guys how I usually take care of this tank. As you can see, the tank is really, really high. I will need a ladder. So I will take care of some water change, trimming the plants. I will come back to you later. So I will just record this in a time lapse because probably will take me a few hours just to clean and do all this job. Probably three, four hours just to maintain this tank. I want to do also very careful the maintenance uh, and also the water change because we have the Altums. I don't want them just to uh, get stressed with the major water change of 50%. So I intend to do it this slowly, trim, vacuum, uh, clean, clean the glass, keep the fish, uh, not stress it. And uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. finishing this time. Yesterday I had a few issues with this because uh, when I finished trimming and also doing the water change, vacuum the bottom, uh, I forgot one little thing. Uh, I forgot that the filter was on when I pulled it out just to clean it. All the dust that was inside of the filter just was pumped again to the tank. So since I didn't want to do more water change on that day, uh, this morning, uh, because here is 9.30, uh, this morning I did a water transfusion, so I pumped the water in and also the water out. Uh, and this is only possible because the water here in Netherlands, I don't know if this is uh, no country, but at least here in Wittgen, where the aquifer is based, the water is not treated with chloride. The, the water they use as, uh, as sand filters, uh, the same is used for the pools. And, um, 
the fish uh, will not be stressed with those water change and that will allow me to take all the particles, all the dust that would came directly from the filter. Um, right now we see that uh, the fish are not stressed, the temperature is um, just changing it a little bit, um, maybe one, two degrees, not done more than that. Then also I have installed the CO2 system, the inline CO2 system from GBL. Uh, and also I took off the CO2 reactor directly from the tank. It's one element less that needs to not be cleaned every 15 days, one month. Um, so everything is inside of the cabinet. And uh, I hope uh, all the plants will grow quite well, know all the issues. And uh, I will be back in one uh, month, uh, more or less. If they need some retouch, some changes, uh, I will do it afterwards. So um, I will show you afterwards um, a video. Um, maybe when the lights or direct light from sunlight is a little bit dark, and more or less like morning and evening, so you can see the details of the tank because um, there is no blackouts on the canteen. So it's very difficult to see inside of the tank looks like.